Sakura Haruno has dropped in Shinobi Strikers as the 24th DLC, the first DLC in Season 4. Now, what builds should you be running with this DLC? Let's talk about it after this. Before we get into the video, I need to let you guys know not all these builds are going to be made for everyone. These are the best ones that I have found. Hey, you may play differently or you're not really into that mode since some are for specific game modes. Let's get into it. For all the clothes, they had the same skills on them. Boost secret technique so I can get that ult faster, heal my teammates, kill the enemy, whatever I need to do. Boost max out so I can stay in the fight, heal my teammates, or just stay in the fight in the tuning exam. And yes, we're going to use that accessory to boost the ninjutsu cooldown when we knock an enemy out. But play around with these, see which works best for your style. Here are the juices for the builds, and we're going to talk about how you should use this build. Flower Cannon is to be used right before you guys attack the scroll to boost that attack power and that ninjutsu cooldown so you guys can get that scroll. To help your attackers with the Huchiha Shuriken, now they can spam that Jutsu and get to bases quicker because you use that Jutsu at the very beginning and it does have a good range. As you can see, old Japanese letters here is a little more than halfway full with his health bar. We're going to use the Jutsu and see how much health he gains after using it. Unfortunately, the heal is a little bit worse than the heal attack, but it's still a burst heal and still has other added effects which are useful. Sailor Extraction is the second Jutsu. It's a burst heal that gets rid of negative effects as well. Sailor Extraction has has the, one of the biggest range for healing jutsus and heals all your allies and gets rid of all their negative status ailments. The ultimate is long distance healing which you can heal anyone from anywhere and get rid of negative status ailment to complete healing. I didn't want to leave out my combat healers because hey they're a little bit underrated and underappreciated so I went ahead and made this build for you guys. Heartlight is the expensive version of body blow from Neji. This actually regains health when you do damage. The damage isn't that much and the healing isn't that much, but that's why we're gonna use Cherry Blossom Clash to improve that healing. With Hard Light, you do get that knockback with the hard knock, but listen, once they get up, use that Cherry Blossom Clash and it'll improve that healing just a bit when you use that heal attack, or you can vice versa, use Cherry Blossom Clash and then Hard Light when they get up to try to attack you. Twin Lion Fist has many great things about it, but the one thing I like about it most, it's a good get off me type jutsu. This build will be a bit controversial and I'll tell you why I chose Paralysis and I'll show you how to use 100 healings jutsu. Paralysis is a very underrated jutsu that locks the people up and they're unable to sub or move and gives restriction damage and that will allow for some big hits. This jutsu is for those flag campers, those scroll campers, and yes, those base campers, and I highly recommend that you try it out. Please use cellular extraction on your non-combat medic healer builds. It is too good not to use. I promise you, you will not regret it. 100 healing jutsu is more specifically for for the user and not your allies now it does boost their health a tad bit but it mostly does it for you and it's more of a hey i'm a combat medic i can do everything by myself type build as you can see right here i'm extremely fast compared to everybody and i have the flag on me so i'm having that negative effect that slows me down and it's just too good and it has a second phase i highly recommend that you try some of these builds out and let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like today's thumbnail it was made by velcro his link will actually be down in the description make sure you get him to 100 subs he's at 90 right now let's do it see you guys